Spain's dynamic metropolises, breathtaking beaches and cultural offerings are second to none, making the country an undisputed stop on many travelers' European vacation itineraries. With so many varied destinations, each with its own celebrated sites and unique hidden gems, it may be hard deciding which cities are worth visiting. US. News factored in sites, culture, seasonality and expert opinion to come up with the best places to visit in Spain for all types of travelers, from city slickers to beach bums to outdoorsy types. With all of its remarkable offerings, it's hard to believe that San Sebastian isn't as popular as neighboring Madrid or Barcelona. But this oceanfront resort town deserves the same regard reserved for Spain's most popular metropolises. San Sebastian's timeless beauty has a tendency to put travelers into a trance, that is, if its world-class culinary offerings don't take hostage of their taste buds first. The Basque country lends a kind of cultural experience that deviates from what some might see as the norm in Spain. Here, Flamenco and bullfighting aren't sought after cultural activities in the same way that pincho bar hopping is. And while siestas are still practiced and Spanish is still spoken, much of the city's residents are bilingual. San Sebastian has the highest number of Basque speakers in the Basque province, and opt to surf in their spare time. It was the former Queen Maria Cristina who initially made this destination famous by vacationing here during the 19th and 20th centuries. Nowadays, when the heat of the south becomes too much to bear, Spaniards flock to San Sebastian's cooler shores for a reprieve. But the most interesting thing about San Sebastian, whether you've heard of it or not, or regardless of who has come before you, is its ability to maintain a small-town feel. Isolated spots along the ocean, between narrow calles and atop its famous hillsides, make San Sebastian feel like it's a place all your own. Valencia is as pleasing to the eyes as it is to the wallet. The green hues found in the Jardi del Turia contrast with the shimmering golden sand and sparkling cerulean waves of the beaches, and the color of its oranges is as rich as the taste. Those who say this Spanish coastal city lacks any sense of charm may have never walked under the citrus trees as they drop blossoms onto the cobblestone streets or listen to the hum of the Valencian dialect amidst the produce stands of the Mercado Central. Although it has spent years hiding in the shadows of larger cities, Valencia now offers a mixture of Madrid's history and Barcelona's contemporary atmosphere for a fraction of the cost. You'd be right in comparing Spain's Canary Islands to a tropical paradise. Located in the North Atlantic Ocean off the southwest coast of Morocco, all seven islands in this archipelago flaunt enviable strips of shoreline that roll out into aquamarine waters. Surfers, Windsurfers, scuba divers and sunbathers all flock to different shores to revel in the gnarly waves, vibrant underwater world and soft sands. And if you're visiting some of the bigger islands, namely Gran Canaria, Tenerife and Lanzarote, you'll find the requisite plush resorts. These luxury accommodations boast gourmet restaurants, sprawling golf courses and prime beach access. But we'd argue that the Canaries are as much about the four natural parks as they are about beaches and resorts. Take the Parque Nacional del Tite on the island of Tenerife, for instance, it contains the globe's third largest volcano, and visitors can hike it. Lanzarote houses Time and Faya National Park, where travelers can take camel rides across the almost lunar-looking terrain. Upon discovering this combination of beautiful beaches, luxurious accommodations and out-of-this-world natural parks, you're sure to feel like the cat that swallowed the canary. If sun-drenched days spent lazing on beaches and sailboats, and long nights grooving to techno beats sounds like your idea of vacation, then Ibiza, or Avisa in Catalan, is the place for you. Known for its collection of buzzy nightclubs clustered around Ibiza town and San Antonio, the third largest Balearic island, located off the east coast of Spain, is packed with revelers throughout most of its summertime peak season. Still, partying isn't Ibiza's only pastime. Pineclad hills conceal quaint villages, secluded coves hide family-friendly beaches, eateries tempt with traditional Balearic foods and vendors hawk everything from leather goods to olive oils in the local markets. Ibiza is everything you think it is, and so much more. This northern city in Spain's Basque country sits in the middle of a beautiful valley, affording incredible views of the city and its rolling hills. Visit Casco Viejo, the city's old town for authentic Pincho, Basque tapas, and to explore Parque Echeverria, where you'll find some of Bilbao's best vistas. Or, ride the funicular de Arzanda for even more spectacular panoramas. No visit would be complete without checking out the world-renowned Guggenheim Museum Bilbao and other local cultural institutions, such as the Museo de Bellas Artes de Bilbao.
Mallorca, the largest of the collection of islands located off the east coast of Spain, is also the most diverse of the Balearics. Although it's true that the same aquamarine waters that lap Ibiza, its southwestern neighbor, also roll onto Mallorca's pristine shores, Mallorca's landscape holds many more treasures. For examples, look no further than the island Serra de Tramontana mountain range, which lines the northern coast and drops into the rocky Cap de Formentor, or the inland swaths of green that are draped in olive, almond and carob groves, and its medieval town, Palma, with its soaring cathedrals and palaces and its quaint streets and squares, are in their own way just as delightful to behold. Couple that with a local culture that appreciates good food, good wine and fun, summer is a non-stop party. And you'll start to wonder, why not Mallorca? Granada's allure is perhaps its most palpable force, enticing visitors long before their scheduled arrival. Tucked away among the Sierra Nevada mountains in southern Spain, this Andalusian gem is awash with an infectious European charm as well as a strong sense of mystery brought on by its storied history. In Granada, churches were once the sites of mosques, bakeries formerly bath houses and shops primarily served tea instead of tapas. Though the days of dynasties changing and cultures clashing are long gone, what's left is a tangible sense of tradition begging to be understood. But that doesn't mean it's not appreciated. Granada's history as a former Moorish empire fascinates, its age-old architecture enchants and its rich culture enthralls the scores of travelers who make the trek to this small Spanish city every year. And visitors may quickly discover that in Granada, anything is possible. You can catch a flamenco show in caves once inhabited by African gypsies, shop goods that can be found on the streets of Morocco, hike the foothills of Spain's largest national park and, with Granada's thriving tapas scene, never pay a dime for dinner. So when in Granada, Embrace the city in all its unique forms and if anything, allow yourself to get completely lost in its splendor, you won't regret it. In many ways, Madrid is similar to many other international metropolises, it's Spain's largest city, has the largest population, is the capital and is the center for international business. But, before you jump to conclusions, hush, if you listen carefully, you can hear the gentle melodies of the Spanish guitar, the swish of a flamenco dancer's skirt, and the happy laughter from a midday meal infused with too many glasses of sangria. Yes, Madrid is for travelers interested in famous paintings and stunning architecture, but it's also, and maybe more so, for those looking for an unhurried good time. The passion of a flamenco dancer, the dedication of a bullfighting matador and the laid-back indulgence of an afternoon siesta are not merely romanticized memories of a long-ago Spain. These cultural traditions are prominent aspects of life in Seville and throughout the country's southernmost Andalusia region. A city marked by Jewish, Islamic and Christian influences, Seville shows evidence of each religion's presence in its church facades, minarets and former ghettos. Travelers who appreciate a good dose of history between leisurely strolls along narrow streets and relaxed, drawn-out meals will swoon over Seville's centuries-old neighborhoods and cultural offerings. Plan to spend your time in Seville indulging in tapas at a street corner cafe or listening to an impromptu guitarist tunes in an open-air plaza. Though the sunshine and laid-back lifestyle may lure you to relax your days away, be sure to make time for visits to the parks, gardens and palaces that showcase the city's complex history and architectural splendor. If you look closely, you'll spot NO8 due on city buses, benches, bicycle racks and even manhole covers. A rebus for the Spanish phrase no mi ha dejado, NO8 due translates to it, Seville, has not abandoned me. Quat. Commit that slogan to memory because it's likely you'll adapt this mantra yourself. Once you've seen the charms of Seville, your experience will stick with you for quite some time. Barcelona contains both the authentically historic and the wildly bizarre. From the scenic trails of the colorful Park Güell to the romantic narrow alleys of Berigadic, from the beachside nightclubs to the city's dozens of sacred churches and architectural marvels, this city by the sea seems to attract all types, the adventurer, the couple, the partier, the culture lover, and more, with an almost overwhelming variety of things to do. You could stay for a few days, but chances are you'll need a whole week to explore. In Barcelona, even the beach is bustling, but it's really the cosmopolitan city that gets all the attention. Much of the activity revolves around Las Ramblas, a series of narrow streets and alleys packed with restaurants, nightclubs and a vibrant pedestrian market. But you should also take a tour of Antoni Gothi's masterpieces. Gothi is responsible for sites like Casa Mila, Casa Batio, and La Sagrada Familia. You also shouldn't miss out on the eclectic shopping scene and the region's exquisite food and wine. You see why we suggest a week vacation? To get a lay of the land, consider signing up for one of the city's best guided tours.